Hey, how's it going guys? Zerai here. So this was, I think, a quite important topic to bring up and talk on regarding of PlayStation 5 Pro and also its capabilities of running Grand Theft Auto 6 as a, you know, 60 FPS and the availability that this, this sole console will be able to pull this off. Due to Xbox Series just basically stepping away from base, well consoles in general and they're basically not going to have their pro variant of the Xbox Series X. Now, there were some rumors and talks that even PlayStation 5 was not, well, Sony was not even going to make a PlayStation 5 Pro. Well, that was like a few months ago. But nevertheless, we still have it, right? It's been announced, it's coming out, it is coming out very soon. But unfortunately, with all the things that has been mentioned, a lot of people are very upset, myself included, in terms especially of its price and how greedy and pretty much outrageous it is, especially since it doesn't come with the, with the CD tray or CD drive, I should say, right? And also the, the vertical stand. Now, vertical stand, person for me, it's not really a big deal. What is a very big deal for me, it is a CD tray, it's just non-existent. And for this, I'll have to pay an additional 120, 130 euros. So that's like, my goodness, I had to literally pay more than 900 euros just so I could pick up this PlayStation 5 Pro with the CD tray. Insan insanity. Nevertheless, I want to get into the touch of the topic. Now, why I personally think that Grand Theft Auto 6 is not actually going to have 60 FPS mode on the PlayStation 5 Pro. Now, I'm sure a lot of people will be quite disappointed to hear this, and I totally understand, but we have to understand that it's not Sony's call to make Grand Theft Auto 6 to be playable on 60 FPS on the PlayStation 5 Pro. Due to that, because it's just simply not feasible. One thing, PlayStation 5 Pro, and just in general, the Pro variant. This has already been proven with the PlayStation 4 Pro that Pro variant of these consoles are not as popular as the original consoles are. Like PlayStation 4 as an example, the original console that's very popular. Same, same thing goes with the PlayStation 5. But the Pro variant of these consoles, they're not as popular. So developers are not going to be catering all their time and effort and resources and money to make specific games to be able to run on these more powerful consoles and that will be something exclusive. To an extent, they will have some things exclusive, but it will be very minimal. Just like it was in this presentation when Mark Cerny has made his appearance and you know showcased the power of the PlayStation 5 Pro and a bit of a comparison between the original PS5 and of course the PS5 Pro. Now I think this is going to be exact same thing done in the Grand Theft Auto 6. I personally believe that the graphics and the tone, the few very little things are indeed going to be improved in the Grand Theft Auto 6. That is of course if you were using and playing on the PlayStation 5 Pro. Now it is up to the developers to make the decision if they want to have 30 FPS, 60 FPS, 120 FPS on the consoles. And you guys know already how Rockstar are. They have never released their, any of their new games on a console and with availability of 60 FPS or more. It, there was never available like that. Other than, of course, one time with, what was it, like Grand Theft Auto V, right? Getting re-released for the PlayStation 5 and same thing goes for Red Dead Redemption 1. But now, where's Red Dead Redemption 2 60 FPS? What, what's going on with that? Now, we did hear rumors and rumblings that basically they just don't have any time. They're putting all their eggs in one basket in, well, Red Dead 6. Basically, all their time is on that game. That's understandable. That's fine. I don't think we should expect or even see that Grand Theft Auto 6 will be able to run 60 FPS on PlayStation 5 Pro, while the PlayStation 5, the original, it will not be able to run Grand Theft Auto 6 on the 60 FPS. I think it's going to be if the direction that Rockstar decides to go with only pure quality and they're not gonna bother with the performance, this means that no matter what, no matter what console you have, this game, Grand Theft Auto 6, will never run 60 FPS on PlayStation 5 and also PlayStation 5 Pro. It's just been proven by these guys, by these developers, they have done this many times and I don't think we should expect that. People have hopes, I understand that, I have hope as well. I personally think the best route to go with this, it's just simply have 
Grand Theft Auto 6 run 60 FPS being the most and the minimum of such a standard. 30 FPS should be completely abandoned and should never exist ever again. PlayStation 5 is powerful enough. Obviously, they still have to do some compromises, otherwise, we wouldn't even have seen PlayStation 5 Pro in this case. But still, with the pricing and how unpopular the PlayStation 5 Pro is, even if it does outsell and looks by the looks of things it does seem to be perhaps being outselled due to, well, as we've seen the CD tray being sold separately, it's basically unavailable on, in the stores. And yeah, PlayStation 5 Pro will be sold out relatively quickly, but it's not going to be to the point that it's going to be necessity for third party developers to prioritize their time and effort specifically for one console. Now, I can actually counter that argument by saying that we're talking about PlayStation here. They're number one in terms of the company and the consoles that Rockstar should definitely prioritize their time and effort. This further proves my point uh, that there's actually a blog by the name of not all the PlayStation 5 Pro enhanced games will run at 60 FPS. There's a bit of a quote that I definitely want to go over it very, very quickly. So according to Tom Barron uh, for The Verge, the PlayStation 5 Pro enhanced games will not guarantee 60 FPS. In fact, he states there still will be games that will target 30 FPS despite all the hardware upgrade. And I quote, While Sony wants this new mode in games, the PS5 Pro enhanced label will still will be available for the variety of other scenarios that includes FPS games. Developers have the option to increasing the target resolution for the PS5 Pro games that run at the fixed resolution on PS5, or even increasing the target maximum resolution for games that run at the variable resolution on the PS5. So this means a base PlayStation 5 game that usually runs at 1440 at 30 FPS increases it resolution to 2160p at the same frame rate is considered enhanced. It's actually further confirmed by Richard uh, Ledbetter of the Digital Foundry, and here's the part. In his analysis of the Grand Theft 6, when speaking with IGN, he points out that previous GTA games pushed the CPU of their platforms, which is why they typically launch with a 30fps target. Additionally, while the PlayStation 5 Pro does include more powerful GPU, it does have the same CPU as the base model, which will be hinder its performance capabilities. And I quote, the PlayStation 5 Pro uses the same CPU as the PS5, and it would be extremely challenging to hit 60 FPS if the base PS5 version is targeting 30 FPS. This isn't a GPU problem, it's a CPU problem. And so it just basically further confirms my point. Like, this is why we should not expect Grand Theft Auto 6, if it releases as a 30 FPS on the PlayStation 5, then it magically will be 60 FPS on the PlayStation 5 Pro. Because the main bottleneck issue, the main problem of within of the PlayStation 5 Pro, that it never received an upgrade on its CPU side. Which is why, if the game is coming, it will still be 30 FPS, and it will be 30 FPS on PS5 Pro no matter what. But if the game is 60 FPS on PS5 Pro, it's only for the clarifies that on your regular, non-pro variant, the normal original PlayStation 5 console, you will be able to run 60 FPS because your normal console, your normal PlayStation 5, will be able to handle it. So goes for the PS5 Pro because PS5 Pro, the main addition and the main thing of its upgrade is the resolution bump and the availability that you can finally play 4K 60fps. Basically, best of two worlds. You don't have to choose the performance or the fidelity. In this case, for the PS5 Pro, you choose both. You can't make magically your 30fps games work better on the PS5 Pro, because the main issue, as has been mentioned here, is the CPU problem. And the PS5 Pro did nothing to improve the CPU issue. So this is why Grand Theft Auto 6 will not be enhanced specifically for the PS5 Pro. It will be 30 FPS and it will stay there just like it would be on the PlayStation 5 or it will be 60 FPS and it will stay there. PS5 Pro will do nothing for it. So again, guys, hold up on your purchases on the PS5 Pro because it actually may not even be worth it. Since Grand Theft Auto 6 is not going to be coming out on PC anytime soon, 
there's some predictability that perhaps maybe 12 to 18 months will be a waiting time after the release of the Grand Theft 6 on consoles. That's when we should also expect PC release. So obviously people want to play it, they want to experience it as soon as possible, so they are willing to pick up the PlayStation 5 console. Now, so here's the thing. I want to make a statement. I want to mention and I just think that everybody should do this. Do not buy the PlayStation 5 Pro. It simply does not offer enough of the advantage due to of its, of its cost. It's just not enough. Sure, there are some interesting things that it features. Two to three times faster ray tracing than the base PlayStation 5. Uh, equivalent of like 45% faster rendering than the base PlayStation 5. The PSSR, PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution AI thing. It's basically Sony's own upscaling tech. And that can even perhaps compete with the FSR that AMD developed and of course the DLSS that NVIDIA has. It's said that it's currently better than the FSR 2. There are talks of course that the PlayStation 5 Pro reaches up to a maximum resolution of 4K, even with 8K support in the future. Now, again, I think that's just marketing term, you know, 8K. <laughs> I don't believe that's actually a legitimate thing to mention that this console can actually perform and do. Because, yeah, honestly, even with these specs that we see from the PlayStation 5 Pro, it's still not good enough to run 8K. In fact, I don't think it's even good enough to run native 4K with 60 FPS, I believe. Well, that really depends on developers and what kind of games they make. Of course, they will have the HDR support for upscaling. And unfortunately, though, it still has not been upgraded or improved because I did hear that PlayStation 5 does not have a very good HDR. That also includes the CPU. Why was this not even touched at all? Like, I think they should have upgraded it, but they didn't. But other than these things, it's not much else that you should expect to see your PlayStation 5 Pro and will be able to be capable of running Grand Theft Auto 6 on a 60 FPS. Because all of this really caters to the decision making from Take-Two Interactive Rockstar Games. Because if they're the ones that are going to say, no, Grand Theft Auto 6 is not going to be able to run uh, 60 FPS even on a PlayStation 5 Pro. And if it doesn't, that's wow. So at the end of the day, it does not matter if you have the PlayStation 5 Pro or not. Because you're going to get the exact same results. I'm sure a lot of you may say, well, PS5 Pro still will have a better looking game. Well, unless, of course, if you zoom in while you're recording or you really try to pay attention to the extremely small details. But with your naked eye while you're playing through the game, just experiencing the gameplay right in front of you uh, from the distance where from your couch and the TV, you're never going to spot these things. It would have been a different story if this would have been a step up from 30 to 60. That's what people are expecting and that's what they want. I want that too. And it would have been a different story if this would have been 1080 and a step up to 4K. And I know they've done some of their trickery, like checkerboarding situations, the 1440p and of course uh, with the fake 4K resolution. But what about the native 4K? see there's always these kinds of decisions and ways of going around going through these loopholes and just doesn't necessarily means that you should expect Grand Theft Auto 6 running on 60 fps specifically for the playstation 5 pro so at the end of the day i say that playstation 5 pro is not going to get a special treatment from rockstar unless if playstation sony this is the only possibility i'm going to mention in here that if Sony makes something exclusive in deals or marketing or something, they pay a lot of money, a lot of funds to take to, to Rockstar and maybe they will do something about this. And say maybe on purposely they're going to have the PlayStation 5 Pro running exclusively 60 FPS as capable for the Grand Theft Auto 6 on PlayStation 5 Pro. And that is actually fantastic news for a lot of people that will be purchasing these consoles. That would have been, what, 800 euros? <laughs> Comparing this to a normal, what, what is it, to 550 euros that a normal PlayStation 5 costs. So, to be honest with you, I say hold off on purchasing the PlayStation 5 Pro. I think you should wait, because I don't think you should worry about it being out of stock. And also, there is a possibility it might actually reduce in price. 
Now again, I don't think one year is like going to be enough to wait since, look, it's already four years since the release of the PlayStation 5 and instead it's actually increased in price and yet it still didn't decrease. And even with the PlayStation 5 Pro's release costing 800 euros, and yet PlayStation 5, the original, is never going to get a reduction in price because they have a counter, counter counterpart such as a far more expensive console, the PlayStation 5 Pro. The best thing to do is to wait. Wait till we hear proper news from Rockstar and what they're going to be mentioning it. Now there are, of course, maybe another advantage is maybe you'll be looking forward to different games that you want to utilize the power of the PlayStation 5 Pro. That can be understandable. But I think that it would be the best decision to do is to wait from Digital Foundry or perhaps some sort of a confirmation from the developers that they're making their games and they will be able to state that you will be able to play this specific game that perhaps you'll be looking forward to on 60 FPS exclusively on the PS5 Pro. But it will not be available on the PS5, the original. Anyway, that's just me talking. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. See you guys all. And have a wonderful day.